John Workington here from the Michaels Camera Social Media Team. Today what I want to do is make a little video to show you the pairing process between an Apple iPhone and the Key Mission 360 camera from Nikon. So I'm going to go into my Nikon group here on my iPhone. Now I've got two SnapBridge apps here because I've been using the complete trilogy of Key Mission cameras, but the one that we're going to use for this is the Nikon SnapBridge 360 1.70 application. Now that's a uh, one application that handles both the panoramic 360 camera and the 170 action camera. So let's just get into that. Now this phone was previously paired to this camera but it's been removed from it and the battery has been pulled out of the Key Mission 360 and reinserted and there's no recollection of Bluetooth connectivity to this particular camera because that's been removed as well. So it's as if we're starting fresh. So let's launch the app then we want to get into the main menu, which is this connect menu here. And you see that we have an exclamation mark up at the top and this little silhouette of a camera here, little dotted outline. So that means there's no camera currently connected. So now what we need to do is power on the Key Mission 360 into pairing mode. So we're going to press and hold the movie button down for about seven seconds and the status lights are going to flash simultaneously in green. There's a status light on each side of the camera. So they're going to be flashing at the same time. So now they're both flashing green and I've let go of the movie button, the, which is the large record button on the top of the camera. And now what we want to do is press at the top here and we want to find the Key Mission 360. And there it is right there. So we're going to select that, so we press on that, and we're just waiting for another panel. This is the Select an Accessory panel comes up and we should see the Key Mission 360 here. Keep in mind this number at the end of it is the serial number of our unit. So we press that and hopefully now the status lights are alternately flashing and it looks like we've connected. So there we go. Now the connect panel denotes that we have connected to the Key Mission 360 and you see in the center there's the little Bluetooth icon. It's telling us our battery's at 80%. Keep in mind you want to do this with a relatively fully charged battery. I had problems when I had a battery only at about 30% when I was doing it. Make sure your phone's charged up as well. So now what I want to do is go over to the, uh, the bottom of my panel to the camera tab. Now what I want to do is press on remote photography. Now this is going to try to kick the Key Mission 360 into live view mode. But for live view mode and for downloading pictures it needs a Wi-Fi connection. Now this is the second part of the puzzle. So we press on this and a panel is going to come up and it says Wi-Fi has been enabled. So you need to get into your Wi-Fi mode. So we're going to go. This is going to knock us back to the settings panel in iOS. But it takes us to the wrong area, unfortunately. It takes us to the snap bridge panel where there really is nothing we need to change here. So what we need to do is go up one, hot, one level into the main settings, get ourselves up to the Wi-Fi panel, and now we've got to find the Key Mission 360 in our Wi-Fi and select that. It doesn't have a lot of power, this Wi-Fi uh, signal out of the key mission. It's not going to default to it very often. Maybe if you're outside and there's no Wi-Fi networks you normally connect to, it might auto-connect. Otherwise, you're going to have to do this yourself. Now we just want to press on this top here to get us right back to the SnapBridge app. Now we can go into remote photography and we should be able to do a live view of ourselves here. And there we go. Now we're into a live view mode. So I've just picked up the camera here and you can see there's my desktop and we're just recording this video. So that's the process that needs to occur. Now, as soon as we knock ourselves out of this live view mode to save power, the Key Mission 360 has turned the Wi-Fi off, even though it is still denoted as paired by Wi-Fi here. Because if we press remote photography again, it's going to ask us to connect to the Wi-Fi again, most likely. Oh, it was still connected for a little bit. Maybe it hangs on for the power down procedure or whatever, but uh, you'll find that as soon as you review one picture, oh, it's turned off already, we're back to Bluetooth. So if we go back here and try to connect to it, I'm, it'll probably ask us again. Yes, it sees back to Bluetooth, says we gotta connect to it. It's not very sticky. So now again, we gotta go back, gotta go up to the Wi-Fi settings, gotta go find it, see it's connected up to the store Wi-Fi here connect to it, get back to the snap bridge. There we go. Now we can get our back into our live view mode here. There we go. That's good. We can probably take ourselves a picture here. Just take a quick standard single shot. Okay. 
I'm not sure if I've got, I don't have auto download set right now. So if I go back here, I go to download selected pictures. You'll find that download selected pictures wants to get the Wi-Fi used as well. And if it's not on, it'll again pop you back to that panel. None of these operations are particularly quick. Everything's a little bit sluggish. It says it's lost its connection to the camera. Try again. There's quite a few little errors that come up here. Let's see what happens this time. Maybe it'll ask us about the Wi-Fi. Again, it's very sluggish. Yeah, okay, so connect Wi-Fi for faster downloads, yes. Go back to the Wi-Fi. Find it. Go back to SnapBridge. Go back. And it's looking positive here. Let's see if it brings in a couple thumbnails. There we go. So that's the picture that we just shot. So let's bring that in. We hit play here. And there we are. So that's the procedure. Now keep in mind, if you want to disconnect this camera and connect it to another device, you want to do the three following steps. In your paired cameras, you need to click on the connect panel of the app. You want to go up to the top here and you want to end pairing. You want to go into your Bluetooth settings of your, I'll just actually disconnect it here. I'm going to end the pairing. Okay, that's fine. And you want to get to your Bluetooth settings on your phone. So you want to find it here. You want to forget the camera. So we're going to click here, forget this device. Then you want to remove the battery from the Key Mission 360 and reinsert it. Uh, it doesn't hurt to make sure that the device you're going to go and connect it to has had a fresh restart and you know all the apps that are not useful have been killed. And that should enable you to uh, get everything you know you need to uh, connect up to another device and disconnect from one. These things are only meant to be connected to one device at a time. So that should uh, help you out with uh, using the Key Mission 360 with uh, iOS and moving it from to device to device and solving your pairing problems. Oh, I should have added, because I had previously connected to the Wi-Fi on this device, I didn't need to type in the Wi-Fi password. Remember, the Wi-Fi password on the Key Mission 360 is Nikon Key Mission, and capital N is in the Nikon, capital M in Mission, and capital K in the key. So capital N Nikon, no spaces, capital K key, mission, and mission with a capital M. We'll put that in the comments as well. Thank you for joining us and uh, follow us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and join our We Can Help Facebook group. See you next time.